Hello everyone. Um, today we are going to take a look at using a module to connect to and close our database connections. Um, so this can be beneficial like in a project where you'll do this multiple times um, because then you can just call the module rather than writing the same lines of code in each sub. <laughs> um, so this is the code that we are going to write from here. Um, we already had the version number in the global module from when we set the form up um, but this code highlighted is the new um, that we're going to write. So I'll leave this screen on now while I just talk for a little bit so that you can pause it and type all of this up into your global module um, and I'll go through it all as well um, and then we can replace the code that we wrote before um, in the original sub. So uh, I'm actually not going to paste this code into the description of the video um, because I feel like you learn better if you actually type things um, and hopefully think about them. <laughs> so, soz. <laughs> So let's go through it then. So this section um, at the top of our global module here, this is where we put our global variables, which means that they are usable throughout the project and not just in the module that they're written in. Um, so we're going to put our connection string up here. Now I like to prefix it with gstra for global string, um, but you can call it whatever you want really. Um, I'll just shimmy it up here now. I don't need to show you which was there before. Um, so let's first of all let's just get our connection string um, from where we'd written it before. So we've got it there. So that's now our connection string to our database which is going to be stored in a global constant variable here. Um, and then I've also created a, another global variable underneath it, which I've called dbcon for db connection. Um, and we're setting it up here as an adodb connection, which you may see looks familiar here. <laughs> So let's create our function then. So I've just called it connect database um, and I'm determining here that it is going to be an ADODB connection. So that's what's going to be created by running this function. Um, the first thing that I've got there is on error go to connection error where it will just give us a message box to say um, fail to connect a database. Um, it's useful to have a specific error here so that you know which part the code's failed at. <laughs> so it's quite good to know if it's the database it can't connect to rather than like um, an error in your syntax or something like that. So I do have comments written throughout here which hopefully uh, makes it quite clear. Um, but the first thing that we're doing there is we're saying if dbcon like doesn't already exist, so do, we're just making sure that we don't create duplicate connections there. Um, so if it doesn't exist, then instantiate a new database connection object. So we're just going to set dbcon to be a new ADODB connection. So that's this dbcon from here. Um, we are determining that that is now a new connection of type ADODB. Else, if it's already open, then return the existing ADO connection object. Um, and that's it pretty much. So we just define the connection string there to say this is the connection string. So our um, constant variable that we set up there, um, we're saying here this is the connection string that we want to assign to our object dbcon. And then we open the connection and that's pretty much it. Um, down here under close database, um, all we're doing really there is closing the connection. Um, and then releasing the object. So how we will use this um, in our form, so let's go back to our form page. Um, we can now remove our declaration there of CNN being new ADODB connections. We don't need that anymore because we do that in the Connect Database module. We can remove the connection string and the CNN open. And in place of that, we want to say connect database. So basically we're just, we've replaced having to type in those lines of code and just replaced it with the name of the function here which will do all of this for us. And then all we need to do there is 
where before we had told it to use the connection that we'd set up here, we're now going to use the dbcon object that we set up. So that is now our connection. So we've replaced CNN there with dbcon. And then down here, where before we had to close the connection and release the object, we don't need to do that because that's done down here, but we do just need to call close database. So let's just pop that down there, and that's it. It's nice and simple, so I'll just save those and let's make sure it works. So if I just remove these and see if it fills it back in, happy days. Um, yeah, so that's all working nice and simple. Um, I think next time, let's take a look at um, inserting some data, I think. That'll be good, because then we can put some data in the database, and then we can start looking at um, retrieving it and then editing it and stuff like that. Um, so yes, if you found this tutorial useful, please do like and subscribe to our channel. Feel free to add any comments below, and thank you for watching.